Salutations, felicitations, and jubilations. Uh, welcome to what is going to be my last video for a while. Uh, as most of you who subscribed, and thank you, a lot of people you've subscribed. You notice I'm not one of those YouTubers that say, hey, subscribe and do all this stuff. A, a lot of you have been subscribing and messaging me and all that, and I really do appreciate that. Uh, so it's because of that that I felt the need to do a, a bit of a, a follow-up video on this. Um, but uh, uh, just to just to bring some closure to what's going on here, probably noticed I haven't uh, been posting for a while. I haven't posted a video in a while, and that's uh, that's due to a number of reasons. Uh, I've not been playing the game nearly as much, which in turn is also due to a few uh, different reasons. It has a lot to do with the server and the guild that I was, uh, you know, part of the good servers that I was constantly kind of advertising there uh, in the in these videos when I was posting them. Uh, you see, uh, City of Heroes numbers have uh, predictably gone down since uh, since since the game went live uh, when the big news came out. So to give you some perspective, I did some research into this. City of Heroes used to average about uh, City of Heroes Homecoming used to average about two thousand players uh, during their peak times. And when the news broke out about them getting the license agreement with NCSoft, it jumped up to 4,000. Now, that put a lot of players on a lot of different servers. Reunion's always been a very slow server, and it had double XP, so I ended up going there just to get double XP, mostly play solo anyways. I, I, I heard it was smaller. Uh, that was fine with me at the time. And I started playing. Uh, eventually, I got invited to the good guild by the guild leader and uh, jumped into that and realized that there was a need for uh, some organization, which is something that I do very well, a little bit of, of leadership. And, and I've been known to have to pull together teams when I need to uh, from my job. I used to be a manager and a director. So I filled those roles pretty well, and I went in and joined the guild there on Reunion. However, after the news came out, after the first month, the numbers started to decline, and currently we're down to three thousand out of you know out of the original four thousand, still well above the two thousand that we used to see. So that's good. Um, uh, that that you know that's that's still a nice bump for them. Unfortunately, this did not hit all of the servers uh, equally. Reunion, which is already a pretty slow server, has lost a significantly higher percentage of players than, say, some of the other servers that have lots of players already. And it turns out I think some of that is just simply because as things have slowed down on Reunion, a lot of people want to be on a busier server so they can have plenty of players to play with. So uh, they will... Um, uh, they will they will move their characters to those servers where where they are a little bit more uh, busy where they're busier. So that makes a lot of sense. We lost quite a few people in our own guild. I was having a hard time putting together a task force and getting enough people that would uh, be available to play on the task force with me. So. Uh, uh, I stopped doing weekly task force. I was at one point doing five or six of them a week for our guild, leading leading a bunch of those. And then I went on to uh, reducing that to about three. And then even that slipped to you know lower numbers because I just wasn't getting enough players uh, together. So after, uh, after that, at some point, it just got even slower. And I was just like, well... Uh, it's clear that there's just not a lot of activity on Reunion anymore. There's not as much activity on our guild. Uh, and and so at some point I, I started, you know, kind of eyeballing other options. One of those uh, options is World of Warcraft has a big event going on with Mesa Pandaria. I do uh, like playing World of Warcraft. I usually jump in at least once for every expansion. I usually spend a month or two or three, get it out of my system, and then I'll move on to other games uh, and wait for the next expansion. I don't believe one has to stay totally involved with an MMO 24-7, you know, nonstop. Uh, I, I like bouncing around and, and seeing the new content that different games that I like have to offer, or playing just new new single-player games and the such is also fun. I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter, Earth Defense Force, and, uh, and many other games, and, and a lot of those are getting sequels here soon, so I'm very much looking forward to Earth Defense Force 6 this summer, so that's very exciting. Regardless, 
uh, it means I'm going to be spending, my, my point is I'll be spending a lot less time on City of Heroes here for a while. Um, and, and I'll be doing other things. So uh, appreciate everyone's comments. I just wanted to come on here and let people know because I know a lot of people have been leaving comments and have subscribed, maybe hoping I would do some more videos. And I probably won't be doing more City of Heroes videos for a while. Uh, I probably won't be doing a lot of videos for, for a while because I still work a full-time job and I spend a lot of time playing uh, Pathfinder. And uh, while I will be doing some World of Warcraft, I'm doing the Mr. Pandaria Remix event because that's going to help me unlock a whole bunch of different outfits. And, and, and maybe I'll do a video on that. But honestly, there's already a number of great YouTubers who are doing videos on that. The reason why I had done the video on City of Heroes and the videos I had done on City of Heroes, like how to make money and such, is because there, were, there was nobody making those videos on YouTube. So I think it was helpful to have something out there in the community. I always kind of look to see what's needed. I like being uh, where I'm needed in any gaming community and the such. And in Pathfinder, which is kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, I DM because DMs are what is needed. Uh, and I like DMing, so it's a good it's a good fit. If I'm playing uh, in a game where I'm not needed, uh, and right now in Reunion, you know, there's just not a lot going on. So there's not a lot of organization needed or whatever have you anymore. Then I, then I usually move on and play other games where I'm just totally relaxed or, whoa, this is a big group, or do something more, uh, you know, where I'm needed. So, uh, yeah, that's what I kind of do. But, um, uh, and you got to love it when you miss with the charge shot. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to be playing City of Heroes at all anymore. As I mentioned before, I like to come back to the games when there's content updates uh, and and when there's new things going on. Or, hey, maybe I just need a break from some of my other games. I'm going to come back City of City Heroes. is very much like comfort food. And I have a lot of my characters on here, a lot of my builds on here that I like. And I'm going to continue to come back and like I'm doing here now and just play from time to time and enjoy being a being a superhero or spy or whatever and jump back into that i will probably move uh from from the server uh and the guild and everything else in reunion just because it, it's clearly uh extremely slow or at least move most of my characters i might keep some of them on reunion and in the sg just just for reasons but uh i'll, I'll have it worked through that just yet if you're interested in uh you know, following up with me, talking to me, anything along those lines, you can feel free to friend me on uh, on Discord. I am JC Servant. And if you friend me up and just say, hey, from your YouTube videos, I'd like to touch, talk with you, feel whatever, you're more than welcome to friend me on Discord. Uh, you can also try uh, to friend me on City of Heroes. Uh, I'm at Wadlight, but uh, since I'm not on very often, I'm not really sure that that would work out too well. Uh, but regardless, I want to thank, once again, before I leave, I just want to thank everybody who was very supportive through these videos and left uh, encouraging comments and subscribed and things like that. Down the road, if you stay subscribed, I'm sure down the road I will make videos about something again at some point in the far future, assuming that uh, the good Lord sees it fit to keep me alive long enough to hit <laughs> uh, retire, but especially if I could retire. I would definitely make a lot more videos if I wasn't working, so... <laughs> I will. Uh, I've, I've wanted to make videos. If you look at my archives of videos, I got lots of different subjects over the years. I started doing videos on and never fall through because you find out the hard way just how time consuming it is to make good video content. But if I'm retired, maybe I'll be able to focus on that more. But in the meantime, uh, thank you guys so much for your support. I hope you continue to have fun with City of Heroes or whatever game that you're interested in. If, if you two have... Um, uh, moved on from City of Heroes, uh, please feel free in the comments below to let me know what you moved on to uh, and what you, you know, and if you plan on coming back or what your thoughts are about the game. Uh, if, um, if if you're still sticking with City of Heroes, feel free to talk about that as well and tell people. And by the way, I will tell you, actually, before I go, if any of you are part of an active guild, I actually would be very, very interested in, in knowing about it, possibly joining it. What I'm looking for is a guild with an active Discord community. I like being part of a community that talks on Discord, in voice, uh, that hangs around and chit chats and things like that. And I think a friend has recommended a good one to me, but I don't want to recommend it on YouTube yet until I've, I've given it more of a chance. Um, now, I do prefer more of a small town feel. You know, I don't want to be on the biggest guild in the world that has like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of players. Uh, uh, I, I kind of like small that that small town feel. But if you know of something, feel free to also you know post that in the comments before. Shoot me off a, a private message on Discord or whatever works best for you. I'd be happy to to see what you got uh, to offer there. So.
Um, that's all I got for now. Uh, if you do want to see, uh, actually, I was probably going to do a video on some of my uh, my pluses and minuses on City Heroes, almost like a review video, but you know, based on my experiences of hundreds of hours, City of Heroes, I do think has a lot of really great things that are ahead of its time, that are super fun, that makes it different and fun and varied. Uh, but it also has uh, some very, very strong drawbacks for a, an MMO, uh, such as the way the uh, task forces are set up and require such a large commitment of time. So if you were interested in such a video, let me know. I might I might crank that one out be, before, I'm, be, before I kind of move on. But other than that, this will probably be my, my last one for a bit. So thank you guys so much. Have a great adventure in City of Heroes, and hopefully I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.